What's going on guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another Infinity Kingdom video. And today, guys, we're back in server 136 with the Revival of Cities event. Now, this is a really cool video today with lots of actions to get yourself ready. Uh, today, we are going to be looking to take out three cities in one go and claim some territory. Finally, for the TWK Red Faction. Now you can see we're, pipe, we're porting in now, getting ready to take the city. And uh, as you start these fights against the city battles, the first thing you need to do is take out the wall. And they do have quite a lot of HP, as you can see, uh, this wall's got a lot. <laughs> and we're gonna be going in and attacking. It's always good to do it with some members of your alliance as well. So I initiated the attack here on this particular city, Orc Zone. And as you can see, my guys are starting to pull in and help me out, which is exactly what I'm going to need. Now, while while we're taking down the wall, guys, I want to let you know that server 136, there's so much fun going on in the server itself. Of course, Infinity Kingdom opened up the game to the Japanese players recently, which is what this big event is all in aid of. And uh, it's a really, really fun time over here. Still a good four weeks of the event still to go. So plenty of time for you still to get involved. So if you want to set yourself up an account, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below and setting yourself up an account and of course TWK in the red Rustland faction do definitely need some more people to join still we still do have a few spaces although thank you to those of you that did join from the previous video that I posted we did get a slight influx in players so that's a really good thing um, so yeah we still have vacancies available though so if you do want to come in and play with me and help TWK out take more of these cities then that would be absolutely awesome and again all the details are down below in the description as well as the links you need to download Infinity Kingdom and try it out for yourself. But yeah, it's been a really fun time um, playing with the Japanese players, I have to say, uh, because obviously they've not been in the game uh, prior to this. I want to let you know that in this video, I am going to be going head to head with a pretty strong Japanese player. So get yourself ready for that, guys. You're definitely going to need your milk and cookies for this one. So this, what you're looking at right now is the first city starting to go down. We've almost taken out the wall on this first city, okay? HP on that wall's going down slowly, slowly, slowly. Now, one thing I was obviously quite worried about was being attacked while this was happening because like I said, we're not the strongest alliance in the kingdom. The good thing I do have is I do have some naps with some of the green alliances. So I didn't have to worry too much about those, but there are some pretty strong alliances on the blue faction uh, that I was kind of worried about. And as you can see, these are blue cities that we are attacking. Now this first city is owned by an alliance that's quite small. So I wasn't too worried at this point. Now you can see the wall has just gone down. So I'm gonna hit the first garrison and I actually killed all 19 of the garrisons with one attack, which I was not expecting to do. <laughs> Considering I still have tier three troops at this point, I wasn't expecting to take out a whole garrison with one hit, but it turns out on this level three C, I could do just that. So <laughs> with that being said, I went in and just one hit all four of these garrisons. You can see I'm going into number four now. Always make sure you heal your troops when you're attacking garrisons, guys, because they this is where you do start losing some troops. The wall doesn't really hurt too much, but the garrisons do. <laughs> so there we go. My final march is walking in towards that garrison. Now there's 17 garrisons remaining. The march goes in and boom, the first city has been captured. Let's get it, baby. Now, if you take a look at the map here, you can see down at the bottom of the map, there is Oxo, Ferusa, and Uxisia. I think it's pronounced like that. These are the three target places we're going for. We're going for that Ferusa next. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. So I told everyone to lose Fury. Uh, get ready to march again. I'll pull over to the next city. Now, I'm going to jump forward this one a bit so you're not watching the whole thing all the way through. But as you can see, the wall is about to go down. Now, this city was a little bit more difficult because this is a level four city so the actual hp on the wall is a lot higher and instead of 19 garrisons there's 23 in each section as you can see and they are a lot more difficult to destroy as you can see i go on on this first one i take it from 23 to 8 it's still a really good solid hit but it's going to take me a, two hits per garrison to actually claim it and again so far we're not being attacked which is good right 
I mean, this again, this second city here was actually unoccupied. There was no alliance holding this. I'm assuming one of the bigger alliances were holding it and they needed to make some space to go and get some higher level cities like the fives and sixes. So they dropped this city off. So because no one's actually holding this one, we didn't have to worry too much about being attacked. And as you can see, taking out the second garrison now, nice. Just marching him now. We've got 10 garrisons left on that bottom left. Just about to walk in and bang, there it is. TWK claiming the second garrison. And you have to claim all four of these. This city won't close unless you get all four. And that's when it can get difficult if another alliance is trying to attack the same city you are when you get to this point of trying to lock down the garrisons. But like I said, fortunately, this, this planned attack we had on these three cities this night is going rather well. <laughs> it's... um. I got a lot better than the previous city attacks we've done. I mean, if you see my previous videos from this event, you'll see that we were struggling a little bit to try and even claim one city from constant attack, trying to trying to take one. But we picked a good night here because it looks like we're about to claim city number two. Again, making sure I'm going in and healing those troops. And it's funny because a lot of people that are around my power seem to be all tier four. So... I, I, I'm, I'm lacking behind a little bit, although I'm st I've still got quite a good amount of power in my march. I've worked a lot on my research, um, worked a lot on my gear, my leveling of gear, etc., my skills, and that's what's given me a really good power on my march. But I am going to be unlocking some tier four in this video, so stay tuned because we will be taking up a couple of our troops to tier four to try and help me a bit more going forward and there goes the final attack there it is capture city great job everyone awesome stuff that's city number two taken we can jump straight into city number three now this one was held by the alliance called VULN or, or like I call them VULN and I believe this is one of the Japanese alliances uh, new to Infinity Kingdom. Now you can see there is a level 20 Voln Castle to the bottom right of this city. Now I decided not to attack him because I didn't want to alert them any more than we, we were about to. But as you can see, a Voln Castle has ported in to the far left hand side and he is going to start attacking our players. So I went straight in and took my focus over to that castle on the left there. I let the rest of the guys continue to knock down the wall because although my players in my alliance do tend to struggle with the garrisons they're pretty good at taking down the wall so they can continue doing that while i focus on this level 23 castle that's just ported in and i'm quick recalling my march of 100 gems and then firing back out the march again and speeding it up as quickly as i can because this guy did start attacking some some of my players and we wanted to make sure that we got him out of there before he was able to force teleport any of my players so here we go. You can see again, just recalling nice and quick. He did try to take that first hit and defend it, but I'm a bit stronger than this guy. So I was able to push through his defense and give him a good, good smack. Again, we're going in now again. Here he goes. He's starting to attack Lady Amunet there. Look, there goes his march. Trying to cause a bit of damage before he gets force ported. I was kind of thinking he was going to gem his prosperity. So he weren't going to get teleported out, but he didn't do that. He just, um, he sat there and took the hits. Again, I'm doing this as fast as I can. I want to get this guy out of here. I don't want him anywhere near this uh, near this city right now. And it looks like he's removed his garrison. He's no longer trying to defend these hits. I'm going in for what should be the last hit now. Speed it up. Eight seconds. You can see my other guys are starting to attack now as well. <laughs> Everyone's starting to attack this guy. Just like swarmed on him. And boom, there he goes. So he's out of here. Again, this castle to the right of us isn't online by the looks of it, so he's not causing any problems. So we don't need to attack him. And as you can see, now I've done that, the garrisons are all open and ready for me now. So, good job. And I was telling the guys in the guild, in fact, I think Premix was telling them, don't hit the garrisons because you're going to lose loads of troops. Just let Worthy hit them because he does loads of damage. Um, it, I do do loads of damage, but it still hurts. You can see I lost 8,000 troops on that hit there. So I am losing a lot when I hit these things. Um... But there you go. First one taken. So great. We get the first garrison. Awesome stuff. I need to heal. I need to open up some resources. I went for a lot of my troops. Help like taking the three cities this night and healing my troops and fighting as well. And there's more fighting to come because it ain't over yet. <laughs> so anyway, let's keep going. So we're attacking the bottom left garrison now. Here we go. March going in. Take it down from 23 to 14. Awesome. 
and we need to get my troops back in. I was literally having to, I probably could do two attacks before I had to heal. Because otherwise I weren't filling my march up enough. He's at 14 right now. There we go. Beautiful. So we now have the two bottom garrisons. Here goes a quick heal. Let's get the healing. And again, while we're here, nice. And let's go ahead and attack the top one. Although my players are still trying to attack those garrisons. They are helping a little bit. So I do appreciate it. But I am worried about him losing so many troops. Another Vuln player ports into the right. But this guy doesn't attack. This guy just ports in and he immediately shields. I was looking. I was like, okay, I'm going to attack you. But he didn't. He, he did shield. So with that being said, I decided to just continue focusing on the actual garrisons themselves. You can see the top right one goes as well now. That's nice. And it's just that top left hand garrison now that we need to take out. And this city that did belong to Vuln, which actually were the second highest power alliance in blue. I can't believe we didn't get more Vuln castles attacking us, to be honest with you. My guys are now starting to attack that poor level 20 castle down the bottom right hand corner. He's just getting blapsed in the bottom right hand corner here. <laughs> um, my guys didn't want to attack the garrison, so they attacked that Vuln castle. Uh, although they'd already made a move and tried to attack us so i don't blame them for attacking it and there it is guys city number three three cities in one night absolutely awesome achievement for us considering the size of our alliance we done really well taking three cities i was really proud of everyone of doing that um so yeah really 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 good job to everybody here um it, it's you know what it's a big morale boost it's a big morale boost you know you're telling people well done everyone mission accomplished and yeah it just it just gets everyone going in the in the guild you know everyone's happy and buzzing that we were able to actually go out and actually do something in the kingdom um and take some red spaces back now we did get attacked this guy from aofm a blue alliance did pull in to attack us he did hit me three or four times uh, while I was garrisoned, but he wasn't strong enough to break through, and I, I actually got a lot of honor out of it, so I was quite happy with that. But we're a little bit stronger than this uh, this Japanese player that's came in to attack us, and um, we're going to be trying to push him straight back out. So time to say no night to this guy. Thanks for stopping in. Bye bye. <laughs> we got rid of him. Um, and at this point, I wanted to get stronger. I wanted to make my castle stronger so I could defend it better. So I decided that I was going to push my account to try and open tier four like i said i've been focusing on a lot of other areas of my account i was lacking a little bit on getting my tier four open as you can see boom noble noman un or noble bowman unlocked um i'm out of resources resources is not easy in infinity kingdom by any stretch of the imagination especially when you start getting up to that level 30 buildings and stuff um so i was almost out of resources so i decided that i still had quite a few gems available that i would just open up the resources i have available and i would gem my second building so i could at least have two lots of troops at tier four i'd done the bowman because of course two squads take up the bowman so it made sense to do that one first as it gives me two squads of tier four at the back and we just done the cavalry as well so i still have the shieldman to do i did have a look to see if i could do it here and now by just quickly gemming that farm and then going back up to the shieldman barracks to see if i could do it but with no resources and gems depleting i was stuck with that so just two tier four um troops made and one more left to do but my march power went up to 83,183. still nowhere near the biggest players in the kingdom so i still can't compete against the big boys um but at least able to defend a little bit better which is a good thing and of course it didn't take long <laughs> it didn't take long for a bigger player literally 30 minutes and a bigger player put it in who was 32 castle full tier 4 and had bigger uh, or more advanced immortals i tried to hit him look at the damage i walked away with 863 troops and he literally lost 2000 like oh my god <laughs> and the funny thing was i looked at this guy's march and he's his heroes were similar level to mine um and, and gear and stuff it's just that he just had more diamonds like the red diamonds on his on his immortals like he was leveled up more on his immortals um and so that's made him so much stronger you can see he's also brought his friend along with him the level 30 castle at the top um and they're, they're going to town on the alliance right now which was a real sour end to what was a real good night of fun and attacking um it did come to a, it did come to a, an abrupt end uh, but they didn't take back the cities 
we, we held the three cities uh, going forward. So that's a really good thing. I did try to defend premixed over here. You can see I sent my march over because what this Voln castle to the right of me done was he garrisoned with his really strong march so I couldn't burn him. And he started attacking with his weaker marches against the other players. So, of course, I could get really good defenses against these marches that are going against Premix right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and send another march in. I'm going to speed it up really quickly. Here we go. You can see my troops flying across the screen now, going into his castle. And here comes the first attack. And we're going to get an amazing defense on that. Thank you for the honor. And there's a march coming down from the top there, the level 30 castle coming down. Second attack coming in on my garrison. And it's again an awesome defense. And then the third attack coming in from Vol at the top. Another banging defense. So we get a triple defense on the garrison. Brilliant stuff. Loads of good honor. Loads of good kills. And then I bring my march back. Obviously, this guy on the right isn't going to stand for that. He's going to attack me. I try to garrison. Probably, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I tried to garrison against him. Didn't go well. Massive losses for me. Um, so I decide to uh, try and take another garrison here. Look at this, look. Got the aid up as well, but it's not going to help. Bang. Actually, he got a victory on that one. He must have sent his weaker march. Then comes the strong march. I lose this one, and then I get a win against the guy at the top. At this point, I'm like, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I decide to withdraw, and I'm going to attack him as he attacks me. I'm going to try and burn this guy. Let's go, baby. Going in with the attack. I set him on fire. Nice. Let's go. He's on fire. But you know what? It's, just, it's not enough. I'm going to go and attack him again, trying to burn him out. He's only got 5,000 prosperity left, because I have been hitting him when he's at his march out. It's just very difficult because he keeps garrison with it he comes at me again i go straight at him again with another attack he's only got five thousand prosperity left i hit him for four thousand three hundred it's not enough and he ah oh, he pushes me out <laughs> but you know what? i gave it a good fight i didn't go down i did burn him i did port back i did take out his mate to the top so i got some sweet revenge against his friend at the top and that's where I ended it for the day. But three cities taken, loads of action, loads of kills, loads of honor. It was a lot of fun. Guys, it's not too late for you to get in on this too. If you want to come and hang out with me and play with TWK in server 136, check out Infinity Kingdom. The link is in the description below. Download it, get yourself in. And uh, yeah, come and play with us. It's a lot of fun. Um, like you say, like I said, I'm not the strongest in the kingdom. None of us are, but we're having a lot of fun. We're taking cities. We're fighting. It's a good laugh. So again, Rustlin, the red, the red faction in Kingdom 136. Come and have a crack with us. We've still got a good month of the event to go. The big event where the Japanese have invaded Infinity Kingdom and we're taking them on. And we want you guys to come and help out. So again, link in the description, guys. Come and check it out. And as you can see, I'm just finishing off this dude right here. Need to get some training going because I killed all my troops. <laughs> Although troop training is pretty easy in Infinity Kingdom, to be honest with you. It doesn't take too much to train some troops. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Stay safe. And of course, peace out.